Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today I'm going to be presenting to you one of my favorite methods for building vocabulary with my students, and it's called Brainstorm, and this is a vocabulary building game. The game Brainstorm works best for students who are near the end of first grade and above. This is because students need to be fluent enough writers to be able to write down words fairly quickly. The game is a wonderful way to build vocabulary through group brainstorming. I always make sure that my students have had experiences with the topic we're brainstorming to help build background knowledge with that concept before we begin the brainstorm game. I use this game to build input charts in my classroom that the students can reference at a later time. This game is a powerful cooperative learning experience that has many benefits for your students. Okay, so how do you play? Step one, for this game you'll need to create groups of three to four students. I usually just use the table groups that I already have in place in my classroom for the activity. Then you'll tell the students that they'll be playing a game of brainstorm. The goal of the game is to get as many words as they can on their paper that are about the topic. The children should work together with all the people on their team and they should work quietly so that the other groups do not hear their ideas and steal them. Step two, pass out a piece of paper and a pencil to each group. Choose a recorder for the group, that's the writer. I always try to choose someone at the table group who's able to write and wants to write. Step three, let the groups know what they're going to be brainstorming. You can say something like, I want you to write down as many words as you can think of that describe the gingerbread man. Think about the gingerbread man. What would you smell if he was near you? What does he taste like? What does he look like? What are some of the things he does? Those are all great questions that can help get the students more ideas to write down. Step four, give the students a set amount of time to brainstorm. Five to 10 minutes is usually a great amount of time depending on your students and their abilities. I find that with the end of first grade, students need a full 10 minutes to complete the brainstorm activity and get their ideas down on paper. But by mid second grade, most students are fairly fluent with their writing that five minutes can be more than enough time to get all of their ideas down on paper. Step five, when the time is up, take the pencils away from the groups and give them a pen or crayon that is a totally different color. Step six. Go around to each table group one at a time and have them take turns reading one word off of their brainstorm list. When a group reads their word, you're going to add that word to the input chart. I like to organize my input charts as well. If we're talking about color, I'll write color, shape, size. I try to categorize the words as I place them on the chart. Then, if any other group has that word, all the groups cross out the word on their paper and they don't get any points. But if no other group has the word that the group says, that group gets to circle the word and add a point. Step seven, continue reading all the words and add them to the chart and add up the points that the students get. Sometimes I have to make the game take two class sessions because my students get so many ideas on their papers and that's totally okay if you need to break it up. Step eight, the group with the most points at the end wins. Now, 
I usually don't make it that big of a deal, but the kids love to see who wins and we give them a big round of applause when they've won. Uh, now you'll have a wonderful chart that has many words to help your students build up their vocabulary. You can make sentence strips with and use sentence frames to help the students use the words from brainstorm to build, read, and write sentences. Practice using those sentence strips often with your chart. Post the chart where students can see it and use it later. I hope you enjoyed learning about the game Brainstorm. It really is a wonderful activity and I love using it in my own classroom. See you soon.